Hello and welcome to another episode of Mammal Monday. Today we're going to be talking about lagomorphs, so rabbits, um, pika, and hares. Um, talking about their taxonomy, like I said, rabbits, hares, and pikas, there's about 80 living species total, and in this there are two families. So there's Lepordae and Ochotonidae. Um, so Lepordae are the hares and rabbits, and Ochotonidae are the pikas. Um, there are 11 genera and 54 species in the rabbits and hares and over 100 domestic breeds that all came from the European wild rabbit. So all the ones that we have as pets usually come from a derivation of European wild rabbits. Um, the pikas, there's one genus of them, three subgenera and 30 species. The first fossil record of mammals with lagomorph-like characteristics is actually from 65 to like 54 million years ago. So their habitat and distribution, it's kind of hard because there's a transparent background, but um, the European wild rabbit has been introduced to most of Oceania, which is this with Australia and the surrounding islands. They're found on all continents except for Australia, um, but they've been introduced, these domestic rabbits have been introduced there. So they're not originally part of the fauna, but they were introduced as pets, um, but they're found they are indigenous to all these areas except for Antarctica. They're absent from southern South America and most islands, usually unless they were introduced domestically. Um, they're also all terrestrial, so some of them burrow, some of them don't, but they're all ground dwellers. They have a wide variety of habitats ranging from tropical forests to Arctic tundra. Um, and this picture gives a good idea of the different places they live, which you can tell that is a lot. They are widely distributed. Next up, talking about their morphology, um, they have long ears, short tails, and strong hind limbs for bounding locomotion. Rabbits do. Pikas have shorter and rounder ears, which you can see the difference right there. So this is a hare versus a pika. So cute. Um, no external tail, and then much, well, um, much less well-developed hind limbs. So they scamper rather than bound. Um, the folds of the skin on their lips meet behind the incisors so they can knot um, without their mouth having to be open. And other flaps of skin, so there's the flap for gnawing and then the flap um, that closes their nostrils. The skull also is um, fenestrated. So a good example of that, if you look closer, um, in the maxillary region, they actually have a lot, fenestration means that it has a lot of like holes in it. Their palate is pretty short. They also have a pair of incisors in each quadrant of the upper jaw. There's one large and then a small one located immediately behind the larger one. And these um, teeth just keep growing throughout the animal's life, which is much like, like rodents. But they're not um, super closely related to rodents, but they were thought to have been. <coughs> Speaking of their natural history, they're herbivores, so they feed on grasses and other small plants. Um, they actually eat their own poop, which is not super cute, but it's called coprophagia. One is wet and gets eaten again because it has five times the vitamin content content of the hard feces. Um, and the other is dry and discarded and has been through more than once and does not have the vitamins to reconsume. The long ear of rabbits are most likely an adaptation for detecting predators, which makes sense. Um, they're also active throughout the year. None of them are like known to hibernate. Uh, they're generally nocturnal and pretty silent. Reproduction, they're pretty um, well known for making babies like rabbits like so many babies in one litter and so many litters a year they don't have a particular time of year when they have to mate it's really just all the time um and something that's characteristic of them is that the mothers are very inattentive to their young they visit their young to nurse only once a day and the visits are really short um but lagomorph milk is actually one of the richest among all mammals and that's why the young grow so rapidly and they're weaned in about a month which is pretty fast um the does which is the female they do not go into heat but they can reproduce at any time of the year like i said they can breed they start breeding at five to six month months of age um, which is extremely young and they continue to have young for four years their gestation is about 30 days depending on the species and the doe can produce between one and 12 young each litter again a lot some fun facts that's the cutest little big guy so cute um nearly half of the world's rabbit species are actually in danger of extinction and many of them are among the most vulnerable of all mammals um 
They also do something called boxing during territorial disputes um, where they use their front limbs and box. Um, they also have an auditory signal that most of the species do is a loud foot thump that indicates alarm. Um, so like thumper and Bambi, that's what that came from. Um, or aggression, not just alarm, also aggression. Um, but in the wild, rabbits actually don't eat many root vegetables. Not that they can't, but that's not their go-to. It's usually grasses. So like in cartoons, Bugs Bunny having a carrot, thats they couldn't survive on just carrots alone. It actually has, I believe, a lot of sugar. Carrots have a lot of sugar and um, accounts for like 15% of like tooth decay in domestic rabbits, which is an interesting fact. Baby rabbits are also called kittens, so not bunnies, kittens. Um, and rabbits also jump when they're happy. They do this thing called a binky, which I have a video coming up. Send it to come off. So that was a super epic rabbit, rabbit binky. Um, I found out that that's what that's called. It's so cute. Yes, yeah, so that was a lagomorphs. Um, really interesting, really cute. A lot of domestic creatures. They look like rodents, but they're not. Um, here are some sources. Have a great rest of your day.